it. This is this isn't the exciting step. No, it'll be just a moment. We'll, we'll get there in a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're uh, we're doing some optimization and development stuff here, and we're showing you guys what happens when the coolant isn't on. Like this is this is just dry run, and you'll get to see just how close that actually gets to the chuck. It's kind of cool. So that's drilling the holes for the base. God, it jumps right in there too. So how far away are you from the chuck? Oh, I'm 130,000 right now. How, how close do you get? 25. Okay. That's nuts. <laughs> Welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 1224 hours on Saturday, September 27, 2014. Lewis is bringing his friends here now. I don't know how I feel about this. We're cutting more bases. Or these aren't bases, these are frames. We're cutting yeah. frames. <sighs> more people, more stuff, more activity. I'm digging it. I'm gonna be pressure washing that in a bit. That's all. Awesome. Are you all kids having fun? I don't think I've seen one on there. So we've got <laughs> So we've got, wait for it. Sam and Dave doing stuff. What what's the project? A CV shaft, but that nut's gotta come off. They're 250 foot pounds when they're new, and then 20 years of corrosion on top of that. It's pretty you're, tight. you're in for a day. It's pretty tight. That's impressive. Pretty tight. Are you liking the nut buster? I'd like it more if it'd make that nut glow so I take it off. It'll get there. Well, we might just need a pipe. Well, Hey, Bowden. What? Got a new toy. Okay, don't drop it on anybody's arm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Totally I'm going to leave the guard on it this yeah. time. Hey, a mortar board. And don't take the take the guard off. Yeah. So we're we're gonna try our best to get the cracks fixed up. Okay. You do a lot of editing. I do. Actually, in the blog, I do a surprisingly tiny amount of editing. It's pretty much just slam sync edit. Just get it and go, huh? Yeah. Which means Hi. That he has no shame of anything. Yeah, I, I sold out that part of my soul years ago. What do you okay, got going on? For you. Ooh, what? Oh, that's for him. Okay. I got sure. Did carry stuff. We're cutting stickers. Yeah? What kind of stickers? That thing awesome stickers you can put on your car. Isn't that right sexy there. in the daylight? But, I, mean, I get a pressure wash that. It's a little terrifying. So we got a lot of new people here right now. We have we have a lot of people. Um, can you get in on the tour? Okay, she'll be all right then. We got heavy production happening back here. What you making in here? We are doing operation number three on cylinders. Oh, they're beautiful. Have you got any more bases to do? Hi, I'll need to get a little bit more stock if I need to do more bases. We got 94 and then ran out of stock. So. All right. Yeah, that one particular piece, can you get close and not put it under? I can live with that. All right. Thank you. 
wet, hey. It was poor rock and it was five minutes ago it was wet. So, Mr. Kidwell, you Hi. have arrived, I and have it arrived. is very active. Yes, it is. This is going to be cool. So, your your mission is to make this work, like plug it in, and it moves back and forth. Okay. That's not just the wood shop room; it's Studio A. That's A B C D. That's the live room where we do like public lectures and stuff. You're learning! It's your first tour! She wants to kill me right now. <laughs> she just walked in with her family and was like, hey, we're on the tour. You are the tour. Why are you abusing that door? Hi. Hey, look, it's your rope. It's your rope. Where's the rope? Hi. Hi. So where's the kit? The clash kit? No, kit. It's the term for a baby fox. Oh, that kit. Yeah. It's tied up to the chair. You sure about that? Oh. Hey, trouble. Hi. I have to come around and pet all the dogs. I have to pet all the dogs. Yes. To the 10,000 people who donated egregious amounts of brake parts cleaner, Doogie is spending money on it again. We're buying it. He's out. So if anybody could help on that, we would appreciate it. Doogie, what else do you need? What are your well, donors? someone sent us a gallon jug of brake parts cleaner. Okay. That's really cool, but we don't have like dispenser for it. A little spray can? Yeah, a little can. Like charge it with an air compressor. Exactly. Okay. So if we can get those, then we can just get it by the gallon. Is it a lot cheaper that way? I don't know. All right. I just use the can because, you know, it's handy. To yeah, I'd rather have the cans than again. The gallon stuff you you can use, like, keep the gallon we have. Don't get the spray cans for it. Get get the aerosol cans for 99% use. The gallon stuff, use that for, like, a brush on application where you, like, need to soak something in it. And then you can dump it back in there, like, like a intense small-scale parts washer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Use it. Yeah. yeah, I like that. that. That's safer and easier. Did it work? It didn't work. It didn't work. My mojo is weak and floppy like. I feel like less of a man. There's a lot going on, way more than I can catch in a blog. So we're fixing all the cracks in the mortar, just cosmetic stuff for the most part, but it matters. Getting it all sorted out, I'm digging it. It's a beautiful day for working outside, shit's getting done. How's it going, sir? It's going well. It goes faster the more you do it. How's your day going, sir? 
That's a problem? Wire's pulling out. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Okay. And no labeling for which wire's which. So where these run, I got a whole long thing. All good. I believe in you. I'm glad to hear okay. it. You believe in I'll me. be back. Mr. Kidwell! It moves a little slow. God, they're slow as hell. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. It's an AC wow. motor, so we can't, there's, it's a gear train and then a chain drive on the thing, so it's slowing down a lot. Can we put like a VFD on it or something? I don't think that would help. It's close to the AC motor, so it's gonna be based on the frequency. Um, Variable frequency drive, I don't think, would help us a lot with that. I think we need to pull that motor out and put a DC motor in there so we can see. I think you're right, things. yeah. All right, now you want me to run through this to see what I figured out? What? Come on over here. I thought you were doing it. What? I didn't have my stopwatch running. Okay. This meter goes phase to phase, there to there, on the output side. There's okay. Output. So this wire and this wire run all the way into that. Yeah, meter. it tells you the output voltage. Right. That's the only thing that's connected to. Okay. There's no potentiometer on the bottom, so we're not getting feedback like we did on the other yeah. one. Yeah. So we have we have it. actual reading, not not a percentage reading. Right. This wire here and this wire here are phase to phase on the input side. Okay. Come around to the other side. Each of those runs through a fuse and goes to right here. This is a 480 to 120 step-down transformer. It's the what other, used to power it before they put the yes, thing on the side. The other side of this is completely disconnected. Okay. So you undo the AC plug on the side there and wire it into this transformer and the thing powers itself on mm -hmm. the 480. That makes sense. That's pretty much it. Neutral that part goes, I had pretty much figured out. Neutral goes from the plug all the way out to the panel with the meter and then all the way back up through that long cable. God. That's the one that was disconnected. The all right. Was disconnected. The hot goes from your plug coming in all the way out to the panel. The switch sends hot to one line or another. Those come in, go through the limit switches, which are right in here, so that when you reach the end of travel, it interrupts the line and kills the motor. And then from the okay. limit switches, they go into the motor. Wow, these are nice and shiny. Aren't they? Ours wow. were always yeah. gray. Well, they were gungy when we got them. Yes. So this is this is. Pristine. I wonder how old it is. Can you find out the date of manufacture? I did not see a date on it anywhere. See if you can work that out. Because there's a, uh, I got a model number in there, but I don't have a serial number. See if you can figure out the power rating of this motor. I got the uh, photographs of the name plate All right. on it. And let's let's replace it with a variable speed DC motor. Yeah. Because oh dear God, that's way too slow. Yes. Cool. So. Good job, Mr. Kidwell. Now we gotta get the damn thing moved into high voltage. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to go find I'm gonna go cut some circuit cards for a certain little project. Okay, but understand that dude is under amazing levels of stress. Okay. Do not fuck with him. Oh I know. He's gotta be showing me the tools because I don't know how to work. Okay. Don't fuck up the machine. Huh? Ben! How you yes. doing? Good. You having fun? Yeah. Cool. Sam! I see you. I see Ben. Where's the kid? Who knows? <laughs> I think he's he over there. Oh, there he is. Okay. What do you have Red Shirt doing? Uh, asking me questions. Weren't you no, supposed I'm, I'm to be helping me over there? Didn't I put you on a job? I put you on a job. Didn't I put you on a job? You, didn't, I put you, on you job. didn't finish what he asked you to do? No, he didn't even come close. Do you need him? Is he cleaning over here? Huh? If he's helpful over here, you can keep him over Finish here. what he asked you to do first, then you can help me clean. I have to do like 15 computers. No, you have to do like 15 computers with two other people, not on your own. How you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man, it's making some sense of all this mess. Hey, dude. Uh, yeah. Where's my 
Did you sell it again? <laughs> Red shirt. Red shirt. <laughs> Took it for an away mission. How are you, sir? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You got a haircut. He's looking better. Huh? You look different. What'd you do? You're freaking me out. Shower. You look different. <laughs> oh, he, ah, yeah. Is it September already? <laughs> okay. So it's the month of September, like the not shower month, and then we don't shave next. We don't shave in November. I'm thinking about doing something for for no shave November. I thought about not shaving like two months in advance, so by the time we were halfway through November, it looked like I hadn't shaved. <laughs> So you're just hiding for the moment. Okay. Uh, he wants to meet with us this afternoon. I have some things not here that I want to do this afternoon. Okay. So. Cool. Hopefully get this place. All right. Jesus! Fuck! I'm stuck here for the day now, huh? Oh, I don't mind. We like it. And we've got showers and nap rooms. Yeah. But, uh, did you get it off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I actually ended up, uh... I think you're gonna have to replace that. I cut it enough that the axle folded up inside of the nut instead of splitting the nut off. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're gonna have to replace the axle? Well, that was the intent. Okay. That was already a trash part, so we got it done. Cool. Well, yeah, good job. Good No! Huh? Look at the hood! Did you see what it says? It says something? I just saw it look like a some kind of Japanese smiley thing. Fuel injection. <laughs> like that's a new thing. Yeah! It was from It was car. when that car was made, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that off. <laughs> ah! 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 That only works if you hit the you're backing up, you couldn't see me. I can, well, I was walking. <laughs> Where the hell'd they go? Hey, look at this asshole blocking the alley. That's gonna make you a treat with the neighbors. And if you want to meet all the neighbors, that's a good way to do it. Exactly the same. Oh, it's idling. All right, we're recording. It's 1756 hours, and we've got a drill hooked up here. That's gonna have to do first step. And when we turn this gear. It, uh, it moves this counter over here. Yeah. So what does that counter say? Like target speed or horizontal. Or target speed horizontal. horizontal. Yeah, I know, but now I've got it like we're moving stuff. Relies on. What? There's a thing. Here, get video. A plate in here going in and out when you turn that. Let me see. Get ready. How are you doing? Show me. Hit it. Go the other way. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, it's it's mathing. Yeah. Hey, on Doogie, <laughs> go the other way. <coughs> There's a million little pieces happening over here, just all doing shit. That's sexy. There 
does seem to be some redundant systems. Yeah, so. you probably don't need all those individual motors. We'll figure it out. It's going to take a while. This is the stuff we've cleaned out of it. We're, we're carving useless parts out because we don't need it to do its original purpose anymore. It's, it's a very different system now. But the idea is we want to get everything spinning and moving and looking cool as a demo. Someone so. somewhere is crying. Yeah, somebody's freaking out. But this is salvage, man. This is, let's bring it back to life. It's going to be cool. Like it's yeah, and I don't want this just on static display in a museum. There's enough of those. Yeah. I want it to do something. I want it to, I want it to look cool. I want it to do something. Watch. This is, this is doing stuff. Here. Watch. Look down in there. Down in the side. Like over in your side, right in front of you. See, it's neat. Science up in this shit, yo. We need a way to like... Harris! Yeah? Your mother got you something awesome. And it is our job to teach you the fundamentals. Okay. okay. Open your box. Welcome to the world of flight. Cool. We've been trying to give this to you for a couple weeks and timing hasn't worked out, but it's like, hey, it's time. Cool. This? I think I kind of already knew about this because you bit. accidentally told me. You it might have know, happened. But... All right. It's actually a pair of socks. Yeah. <laughs> so That's even better. This is a duet. It cool. is a duplicate to what is my what was my first plane and his first plane. It is now your first plane. Jerry is going to help you put the batteries in it and get everything ready. We're going to go flying right now. Okay. okay cool. All right, Jerry, hook him up. I think that was the first plane I flew too. The few years. Yeah, oh, that's awesome, right? Moose. Actually, well, no, you flew yours no, first. No, that wasn't really. <laughs> <laughs> right? Let's get him charged up there. It's the one that's in front. You need both. You need both. The double A's go in the transmitter. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. And the little ones go into the airplane. Yep. And these, these are your flight batteries. Yep. Okay. Oh, extra batteries and everything. Yep. Hell yeah. That one's got a one. That, that'll have a half charge on it. It'll be enough to get you in the air for a little bit. Okay. When you open these up, batteries come with Velcro. Okay. Now, one side of the Velcro will match your plane. Your plane has the soft side of the Velcro, right? Okay. So you take the Velcro. You take the hard side of the Velcro. You're not going to need the soft side. Now, you got a blue side of the battery and a silver side of the battery. You peel this off and you stick it to the silver side of the battery. I don't know what the heat shrink is for. I think it's... Oh, I think the heat shrink goes up the top to keep the sticker on your battery. Oh, figure it out. But you put this on the battery, and instead, there's the plug end. Take that off. You put this towards this end. You just peel it and stick. Okay, put it right on there. When you put it in your plane, you stick it in the this battery. Okay. When your battery is dead, you stick it in here. When the red light goes out, it's charged. Okay. And try not to completely kill them, because they don't like that. Yeah. When, right. when this starts making the noise, you'll know, it'll, instead of going it'll go it'll make an angry sound. That means stop, right now, land, we'll change your back. Because the next step is it falls out of the sky. And also the the more you run your batteries, you know, hard and low, uh, it wears them out sooner. It, it damages them chemically. What is this and why is this only on one side? That's yeah. so you know. Jerry! When you're up in the air, you know which direction you're facing. Yeah, when you look at it from the bottom, that, that's, you'll know. Are that's they all like that? Or a lot I thought of them that was are. to yeah. balance them, like they test fly on them. No, and it isn't. That's, that's so you know what direction you're going. It's really common yeah. on the little trainers. Okay. Let's get him geared up. Let's go! Okay, do I, I would. just Jerry? You just need one for now. I taught you, you teach him. Okay. Okay, hang on, you got me. Don't worry about that one. Just, it's going to have pretty much no charge. Okay. So we'll worry about those later. Chris always has charge batteries. So, you can grab these with this.
Yeah, I can't even see anything. Oh, Dog! Maggie, 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 Maggie! Well, hey there, Paul. Howdy. You excited? Excited? Nah. <laughs> 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 I scratched myself on the, on, the, Ow. on the computer thing and I got 40 year old gunge in my. You'll probably be growing mold out of it by it's the time. It's already night. like swollen. It's gonna end up like having to be lopped off. Hell yeah. Because uh, I had to pull that last chunk of wire out and I couldn't right. unscrew the little. So you just yanked it. So I started pulling it through and I knew that was gonna happen. Was, it always sucks when you know it's like this is gonna suck. Ah, oh, it sucked. <laughs> We're going to be spending more time walking to the parking lot than he's going to be in the air. Which is alright, but you know, it's just kind of fun. Because it's a lot more forgiving, and if you crash, it's not gonna break. It. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. Hey, Fluffy! Come here! Cross the street! Come into the line! She can't, she's Jewish. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Chris, we need a battery. All the hate mail. I have a battery. Also. You'll notice it has a C on it. That means it's mine. Okay. <coughs> All right, first thing you do is download. You turn your transmitter on. Transmitter on first? Yes. Always transmitter on first. That might need to bind too. Yeah, but I'm just showing sure during practice. Plug this in. Is there a cover for it or nope. no? This one's rebound. Yeah, what? it came bound. RTF net. Oh, Beam. yeah, all right. RTF. Ready to fly. Yep. So, it's really simple. Before you start, you do a flight test controls. Make sure... Make sure that left is left, right is right, and up and down or up and down. Did you tell them which way is up and down and which way is left? Uh -huh. That pushes down. The air pushes past it, makes it tip down. Okay, so it's reverse. When this goes pieces. up, the nose goes up because mm -hmm. it pushes it like because that. Because it makes an arc. Yep. Okay. And when you Girls. when you pull back, that goes up, Greetings. nose goes up. Okay, so this stick Boys, back is up. If you've heard the term pull up, mm -hmm. you pull it, you go up. Okay. okay. Left and right or left and right. So this stick, your right thumb, is the direction you want to go. Now this plane doesn't have a rudder. The way this turns is, if you want to go this way, this, this motor will spin more than this plane. Now this is an important thing to know. Um, hang on. Alright. When, when you first put the battery in this plane, every time you're flying, set the plane on the ground and then plug the battery in and wait a second and you'll hear it. Okay? It'll twitch or something. This plane, this plane doesn't, but this plane has a gyroscope built into it. So once you've had power on, like that, now the gyro's arm. Watch, if I pick your plane up, and I turn it, give me a little. It's trying to compensate. <laughs> Aren't they all? If the plane gets blown by the wind this way, this motor will spin up more and it'll try and pull it back. So cool. it's kind of like a little bit of autopilot help, okay? A little bit. But it's up, down, left, right, and then this is faster, slower. Most of the time, you're going to fly at about half stick. Okay? Okay. Should we let him maiden it? Well, yeah, it's I his plane. His mother's He's going to have right. to maiden glue it, too. Yeah, you're, you're, there will be glue involved. Throttle up all the way, pull back gently. There you go. Pull it, pull it. Oh, well, well, yeah. Well. Congratulations, you're flying longer than yeah, Chris's first flight. Oh. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a building. 
Oh, I'm gonna let you know it once. When it's porpoising like okay. that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Other way. <laughs> it's going to want to go up yeah, on its own. This has a lot of lift to it. So generally, you're going to be pushing it down a little bit. He's doing amazing. Look at how good he can fly that thing. The kid's got mad skills. Harris, is this your first time? Yeah. Isn't he amazing? Isn't he awesome? Here, Harris. Remember, you want to keep pushing it down. By the way, when bit. it comes at you, when, when, when it's coming at you, the controls are reversed. And now for lesson two, <laughs> dog fighting, tree. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Get away from the tree. Uh, oh, 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 Oh! You landed it! A, a bone? Yeah. He just successfully landed yeah. it. Excellent! Yeah. No, no crashing. His maiden was better than mine. Don't hit the car. Oh! Sorry, it's out of the street. Harris, what? get your plane. Where is it? It's just on the other side of the sidewalk. Didn't go on the street. Landed on its wheels though. All right, Damn. two for two. <laughs> That's not so bad. Nope. Don't be a boop. Oh. You gotta kill it. You gotta kill it. You gotta remember when you get in trouble, go power. It almost looked like huh? I was gonna make it out for a second. If it wasn't for that, Have you gotten stuck good. in this bush before? You seem to expertly know how to get a plane out of that bush. I know a thing or two about bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle myself. A little more cosmetic in the damage bush. on this. You little toss again? So it's far, so out. far. It's a little easier when so, I. So far. Oh, oh, wings broken. So far, you're... Uh, actually, no. You're, you want... This is a good time. Oh, is this a good time for a repair? Before it yeah, a little bit of glue before it goes too bad. So far, though, your first flights are doing better than both Bowden and Jerry's. How, how did he do and how did Chris do? Uh, he has to make it through a battery first. But he... Okay, I mean, that's still better, though. He's got to glue the wing back on, but he's still doing better. I want to go hurry up and build a nut ball so I can get up before it's dark. <laughs> I'm going to go, go Go build it, then. All right, jeez. Are they all up upstairs? All the parts are up on the gurney, Jerry? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I already ripped the, ring a, the wing a little bit. Huh? I already ripped the wing a little bit. Could you please run us? Set this on the round table and direct the round table. I'm getting you glue. Good job, Jerry. Good job, Jerry. I, I ripped the wing, but at least you still have propellers. Right. So we just, just glue a little bit there. You'll just There's glue the back there. <laughs> one of them doesn't have a propeller, the other one does. Foam but glue is a little expensive, but totally worth it. Also, you use tiny amounts. It's magic. Again, one of them a dab will do you. are leaving it here and not bringing it home unless he wants to. <laughs> you gotta run! It's aviation! Don't be playing with it while it's in his hands. I was just curious if the throttle all the way down if it actually did anything with yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, that'll that'll work. When with the throttle all the way down, this won't really do much. They'll they'll spin, but that's it. And up and down will do. My dad had a good time by the way on the tour. Yeah? Did he have fun? He did. Okay. <laughs> Shall we get started, gentlemen? Alright, so you've had your maiden flight with a successful landing. You did very, very well, and the whole world is amazed at you and enthralled. So, this is Riders Super Gold, and you see right here it says 100% foam safe. 
Mm -hmm. Look for that on every bottle of glue you ever use. Is it ever going to say, is it ever not going to say 100%? If it, well, it doesn't matter how many percent. That's just marketing. But it's that it says foam safe that matters. Okay. This you don't want to get that stuff that's only 40%. Instacent. In the real world, they call it kicker. Okay? So you take the top off of that. Now here's how you fix a joint. Okay? You've got a bit of a gap, so you stretch it out just a little bit so that you can get, like, the tip in just the tip. Don't just the tip. You don't need a lot of glue. Okay. Think of it like spot welding. Okay. Never welded before either. <laughs> spot welding might not be the best analogy. Okay. Then you push it together, and the glue will spooge out. Okay. And then you smooth it with your finger, and then immediately wipe it on your pant leg. Because Bond's skin. Well, super glue was originally invented to glue skin together. That's what it was for. Okay, so you hold it together firmly. Don't don't like crush it, but firmly together. Okay, and then now watch. If I let go of this, it comes back apart, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because it takes a while for the glue to dry. Now, if you would please, sir, grab that little spritzy bottle. Not you. You're dangerous. Now, one spritz right on that seam. Okay, and you can see it'll bubble a little bit. Okay, now, 10 seconds later, and that's being very conservative, you let go and it holds itself. Okay, do I spray the other side then or? You can, but you don't have to. You let this sit overnight and it's totally cool. Totally. That, that by morning would be ready to fly. So you're set, and when it's done without really looking at it, you can't even find where you broke it. That's a good easy one. And I see you've also got your nose caved in a little bit. Yeah, I kind of crushed that. This, this whole nose will just obliterate itself. One of the really cool things about the design of the Duet, and it's the reason we use it as the standard you know, new kid getting into flight, is when you put it like this, see how there's a straight line between the nose and the wingtip, and the propeller doesn't touch the ground. Ah, That's so it protects. Smart. Yeah, they did that on purpose. So, yeah, there you go. So now you know how to glue a joint. And all you need is glue, foam safe glue, CA glue, that's cyanoacrylate, and kicker. Nobody really knows what that's made of, but it's magic and it smells awesome. Okay. Yeah. If I ever, will there ever be a time where I could theoretically break something that wouldn't be fixable with either of those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my, oh, yes. It'll happen. And should I just talk to you then? Yeah. Okay. And then he tells me but, what to order next. Well. With this type of plane, with foamies, 99% of the time you need glue and tape. Okay? I've heard tape is really heavy for flight. No, Scott, we use scotch tape and foamies. Now, when you get up to his level of stuff, because you're flying ultra micro foamies, okay, so this is pretty much glue and scotch tape holds the whole damn thing together. When you get up to his level of planes, where he's building like a nutball over there, you're going to be using hot glue and uh, a fiber reinforced packing tape is a thing. And the shit you can do with that, with, with just Dollar Tree foam, like this, you, you came, you bought it and it was all assembled right and all the foam is shaped right and all that. This is, this is compressed like in a mold foam. Mm -hmm. What he's doing is a scratch build setup and he's using Dollar Tree foam, which is bucket sheet or whatever, and hot glue and some bamboo skewers like you'd buy at the grocery store and you, through the clever application of some very simple materials, you can make amazing aircraft. Like, okay. he can show you the nutball and take you through that. But, and there's, man, there's websites with plans and shit, but this is where I started, and with this, everything's balanced, everything works, and this will teach you the basic hand-eye coordination. Okay. So that the idea is to get to the point with the airplane where you don't have to think of what you want it to do. It just does it. You don't have to think, oh, I have to move this one and, and this and keep all that shit in your head at once. It, it becomes second nature. You'll develop muscle memory for it and you won't even think about it. Um, okay. It'll become really apparent, you'll have a moment, and it'll be months from now, but you'll have a moment where you go to put a plane in the air and it's like a first time flight or something like that. You'll put it in the air and you'll trim it and you won't realize that you trimmed it. You won't even think about it. That's when you're there. That's, that's the line. If I don't think about it, when you don't realize think that, I don't think oh, about it. Oh, well, you'll, 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 you'll 
it'll come to you, but you'll know what it is. It's kind of like when you're driving a car and you realize that you've just driven across town and didn't think about shifting. I haven't done that. Yeah, you'll get there. It's like when you flush the toilet. <laughs> you never think about flushing it. You just do it. It's you second nature. Think. There you go. And hey. sometimes you're going to forget to trim your plane and yeah. you're going to have trouble. But most of the time, you flush the These toilet. These are the trim buttons. Okay. We'll cover those later. They don't really matter at this stage. Okay. So, any questions? Um, sure. Will I be keeping this here or should I take this home? Totally up to you. I don't give a shit. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Your parents think you should keep it here. You don't have a little brother. True. Yeah, I think I'll find a good here. spot to stash it somewhere here. Like yeah. down in supply or something like that. Oh, you are not allowed to leave it with the battery charging in it. Like, if you're going to be here tomorrow, you can leave this with the battery charging in it and set it while you're here during the day. But when you leave, the battery comes out. Okay. okay. That this has a big yellow flag on it. You can leave the plane here, but you have to take your batteries home. You can okay. take the charger home with you as well. I think I'll do that. Never, ever. This is fucking gospel. Never charge a battery unattended. Every battery you buy will have a big warning sticker that says exactly that. Never charge batteries unattended. Okay? These like to burn. A lot. If you look at them funny, they burst into flames. So, don't fuck with batteries. It's really hard with the little tiny ones like these. It's really hard to screw one of these up. But as you get into Small flames. Batteries, Small flames. Yeah. The, the energy density goes up remarkably. And, yeah. So, leave it charging. It's fine. This one's pretty much charged already. Um, so that, that one's charged, but never leave them charging unattended. How long will it keep its charge if I don't use it? A while. Like, a couple weeks yeah. without any trouble. Okay. For the little ones. Because what I do is I carry them, I carry all my batteries in my pouch right here. And I was wondering what that was for. Well, this is for the camera, the blog camera, but I have the extra pouch. And I've got a pocket here where I carry charged batteries, and I usually keep four or five in there. And then I've got the zipper pocket here. You put dead ones? Dead ones go in the zipper pocket. And then, yeah, I wander back by my office, and I've got a charger for these batteries, because there's a lot of planes that use these batteries. The plane I flew today used the same exact battery. I, in fact, I loaned you one of my batteries to fly mm -hmm. your plane. Um, it, you're going to get a lot of these. You'll get to a point where they'll start to get weak, and they'll get weak a lot if you fly them all the way down all the time. Like we did today where dirt, 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 that means the battery's all the way dead. Okay. And so that's that's really hard on a battery, so okay. it'll warn you. So once it starts making that noise, is it is it going to be bad for it to continue flying it from that point? Once forward? it goes once it starts making it that bad? noise, it's as low as the battery ever wants to be. And the plane will that's the plane telling you okay. If you pull the voltage on, even when you run these batteries down as low as they'll go, it's still about 70% charged. If you were to hook this battery up and just hook it into a resistor and run it dead, A, it'll never hold a charge again, B, it will burst into flames. Okay. Well, B then kind of A. Yeah. Well, A happens first, then you get down to B. Yeah, but if you get to B, then you never get A. Um, you Is have he going no to law school? Not on my dollar. Okay. <laughs> In order to prevent the batteries from bursting into flames and or permanently damaging themselves, the plane, in this case, not all of them, but in this case, is smart enough to say, that's too fucking low, I don't want to burn up, because the plane will probably survive a crash. It will not survive the battery bursting into flames. <laughs> so what the plane will do is warn you. If you don't listen to the warning, once it gets a very slightly bit lower, the plane will stop. It doesn't care if it's in the air or not. It will just turn off. It would rather crash than burst into flames. Yeah. So when it starts making the eh, 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 that means land fucking now. Because you're not going to have long to do it. When you drive a car, you will notice when the gas gauge gets really, really low in mo any modern car, there's a little light that comes on that says, hey, hey, fuckhead, gas station, real good time. Okay. It won't do that forever. And some of us have made very serious gambles as to just how far you can push that. We almost got stuck in the middle of the UP once. That's a that's drinking man's country. 
ain't no place for kids and cowboys. But that's, that's what you need to know about batteries at this point. Um, there is a website called Flight Test. Okay? A couple guys, like, just go on YouTube, type in Flight Test. Okay. Start following links from there. that will take you to their website and stuff. All of the basics are covered there way better than what I would ever be able to teach. These, these guys have forgotten more about this shit than you and I will ever know. Start reading everything. Okay. There's all kinds of beginner facts that cover basic battery stuff. Read and study everything. Okay? Although understanding the principles may or may not help me actually do it. I mean, will. I kind of know. It helps to know. I know how this works, although... I Understanding the fundamental forces of lift will not help you realize that this is up, this is down, this is... It won't. But what it will do is help you understand what to do when the plane's doing certain things. Right now, you don't know what a stall is. Uh, kind of, I think. What's maybe? a stall? Is that when the propeller stops spinning? No. Then, no, I don't know. There you go. See? So as you progress as a pilot, it will be helpful to learn it's important to know things like stall, concepts stall. so you'll better understand why things are crashing and try not to let them crash anymore well I mean sometimes just more experience will help you get past those problems or you can learn from other people who are also experienced do you need to touch the stove or can you no, trust it brother. when someone tells you it's hot yeah and no but that actually was my and, and we have crashed a lot. You will crash a lot. You will fire uh, destroy that plane in about two, maybe three weeks. I would buy the second one any time now. Tell me which one to get. Same thing. Yep. Oh, He's going to go through a couple of those. Okay. Yeah. You can buy more expensive planes. When, uh, pissing away more money. When you want to, we'll start getting into some of those things because they're right. also cheap and they're fun if because you, you can destroy them and you don't care because they're cheap. If you get motivated, you, you could get into scratch building and that's, it's expensive for the initial outlay of gear. Just because you have to buy the electronics, buy the transmitter, buy this and that. Yeah. But the yeah. plane itself, what you were going to actually destroy, is cheap. Yeah. And all the, you can take that airplane out, smash it into the ground 50 times, and you bring back the propeller and the motor and the ESC and all that shit. Keep the important electronic bits, throw the foam shit away, spend a buck and a half, and you have a new airplane. Unless the motor explodes. It's pretty rare. Though. They usually don't. Yeah. They, they take a lot of abuse because you're not the first person to crash one of these. Case in point, yeah. the motor on that plane was literally falling off and to the point have, where it was chopping up the plane itself. Like prop savers and stuff like that. A prop saver is where the propeller is held on the airplane with a rubber band in a special way so that when it hits the ground, the propeller just goes burp like that instead of snaps off. And at this stage, parts are cheap. You can only get two replacement parts for this, I think. I think there's only two. You can, no, you can get new spinners here. Don't buy them, it's a waste of money. You can get a new tail assembly. You'll go through a few of those. And you can get new landing gear, but I never have seen a need to because you just hand launch the thing. Um, but that's all the parts you can get for this. You can't like get replacement motors. This is as close to disposable airplane as you really want to buy. As you get into bigger and better airplanes, they have more and more parts available. And you'll get, long before you get good at flying airplanes, you'll get really good at fixing. So, yeah. And once you've conquered airplanes, then quads. Or helicopters. No, quads first, they're easier. Oh. Well, isn't helicopter season kind of starting soon? Well, yes, helicopter season is starting soon. But you can fly quads at the same time as helicopters. Yeah, you can yeah. fly quads indoors too. But would I be able to use this indoors at all then? You can absolutely fly that indoors. I just don't have a big enough indoors for it. But if you can find us the funding to get a bigger indoors, I'm all for it. I'd love to have something the size of an aircraft hangar where we could fly planes indoors all winter. How much height do you need? How much clearance? 20 feet would be great. Yeah. And a lot of it's just space. I need a gymnasium. I've got 3,000 square feet that you can play in. No, I, I need... Realistically, for the stuff we want to do, um, 15 to 20 feet of height in a room that is at least the size of a, a full-size gymnasium. Bigger is definitely better. Okay. That I don't. Well, get it, Tim. Get us funding. We'll build it. I know, I know the perfect spot. Well, um, okay. would I be able to use this, though, if my schedule is going to be I can only come on Saturdays? I don't care. Would I be fly able to when you want to fly. You can fly, fly anywhere. Get out of it what you put into it. 
I fly every day, usually three times a day, for about 15 minutes. If, if I keep it, this here, I'm only going to be able to come right. once. If, if you, you want to bring it home, yeah. you can bring it home. It's your plane. Dirty yeah, plane. I just don't want. I think you overthink the fuck out of it. So, I there. do. That's today's captain's blog. This is Harris, the man of perfect posture. <laughs> posture. There you go. Is that better? It's better. It's not there, but it's better than it was. Okay. Okay. Just out, like you want to punch a guy. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Work on a beard, too. No, 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 not yet. Not no, no, I've seen it. It's bad. It's bad. He used a lighter on my face. It's bad. I might have used a lighter on his face a little. He had like three scraggly cubes, okay? And I just, he just walked by, I was like, no. No, no, no. You could have it worse. You could have Doogie's thing going on where he's got like the butt chin with two. He's got like two soul patches that migrated down, and every time I look at his chin, I'm just thinking. He needs to turn those into spikes. Uh, yeah, yeah. If they, yeah, that could be something, but we're going to dinner now. In several states in the USA, it's still legal for an employer to discriminate against an employee based on sexual preference and orientation. Being gay, lesbian, or transgender is a fireable offense, and that's bullshit. So... Give me your twinks! Your bears! Your lipstick lesbians yearning to code PHP! Give me your dykes! Your kinksters! Your furries! And transgenders looking for more! Send these! The rainbowed sparkly code poets to me! Compile with us! We don't care whom you adore! Seriously, folks, are you LGBTQ or a champion for their cause? Do you have mad web developing skills? Then we want to talk to you! Visit this link and fill out an application today. Where you are in the world doesn't matter, so get in touch. Straight, bigoted asshats need not apply. In fact, we'll laugh at you if you do.